We're still continuing on Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Big Shots. Where are we left off? Last time I remember, Greg's mother sends him to an uh, uh, inappropriate um, gym. When Mom went to the desk to register, she got some bad news. There was already a team called the Husky in the tournament, so she had to come up with another name, and I guess Mom was feeling stressed that we were too late, so she just wrote down the first name that popped into her head. Second chain, chance, tournament restoration from team name Winter Dogs. But when I saw the names of the, some of the, of the other teams are, we were campaigning against, I didn't feel so bad about ours. Yellow bellies, banana slugs, brawlers, rubber duckies, and our choker, Benshi, 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 Manly All Star, and Winter Dogs. The games were being held in a, in a in a big open area that must be used as a cafeteria. When the prison was open, there was a sign with a list of rules written on on it, and I am not sure it was if, if it was for us or the or for the poor or for the prisoners. Mess hall rules. No sharp objects, no swearing, no complaint, no foo fights. The court were side by side, which meant there was any room for fans to watch the games. But that was, but that was okay, because it looked like nobody else's parents had come to to, to this thing, or either. Our opponents' opponents were already warming up on court three. I have to admit, I was a little relieved that we were playing the Matt Lee. We all start in the second in round one, but I shouldn't have under under and under estimate them because these guys made up for their lack of basketball skill with their brains. Their team was lousy on on the, the on defense, so we st we scored a bunch too, but we couldn't do anything to stop their offense. At the at and at the final buzzer, the score was seven thirty seven through thirty. Man, lead all stars. Me and my teammates were pretty bummed out because we knew this was our big chance to finally get get a win, and we blew it. Plus, we felt a little dumb for packing overnight bags, but then Mom told us something that was pretty shocking. She said that in the second chance tournament, you play until you won. That meant the Met Leeds were going home, and we we and we are staying. Well, that changed everything. It meant we were actually stuck in the place, in this place, till we got a victory. And now it makes sense why they decided to help hold this tournament in a prison. Mon checked the result for the second round for the first round games to see who we were facing next. The name of the team was the Blowers, which sounded a little more intimidating than the Mallies. But then Mon got got the scoop. The brother was a team made up of all the kids in the state who got thrown out of the game for fighting. So I guess the second chance things wasn't just about wins. We, when we got our first look at these guys, we knew we were in trouble. I was glad Mom didn't put me in the staring starting line, 
lineup because the game was was a fight from start to finish. Right after the tip off, one of the bluer clothes line Kevin. So Ruby Bird jumped on that kid back and then everyone joined in. Yar. Look at this guy right there. His glasses fall off. I don't, I don't think the referee wanted to get in the middle of the fight, so they just let it go, and I'm pretty sure they didn't blow their whistle once. Since there wasn't a, a lot actual... Since there wasn't a lot, uh, a lot of actual basketball being played, it was a low-scoring contest, but the lower at ages edge us out in the end and the final score was six through five point our team was pretty gassed from playing two rec right, two games in a row but we were done yet we had to face a team called a stage whisper in the third round and they looked tired too I couldn't figure out what to do with these guys, which was until we started playing. They must have been a part of a theater group at their school because they were all great actors. Every time one of the of the, our team must would get anywhere near one of those guys, they flop and act like they are they were injured. And even though we were, we never touched them. We pick up fifty personal fools in, in the first quarter. Their team scored almost all of their all all of their points from the free throw line, and we end up losing that one, losing that one, thirty three through seventeen. And if we had to play to another game after that, I don't think we couldn't actually done it. Luckily, the next round wasn't until this mor the, mor the morning, so we went to the hotel a few miles away, there where I was, looking forward to getting a good night's sleep. But I guess Mom didn't like think we still, we did, we didn't, we did not, we did still be playing that is in the, this way in the tournament. <sighs> so we should, she had it book our room ahead of time. By then, there were only two left in the hotel. So mom booked one room for her and Ruby and one for the rest of us. I don't think I don't don't know what it was I'd like to share a room with Ruby. But I can tell you it sure wasn't fun sharing a room with a guy on my team. From the way my teammates were acting, I doubt any of those guys had ever been in a hotel room before. I actually thought about calling security on them a bunch of times. But I didn't and but I didn't and that was a big mistake because one of them started on an ice fight and hit a sprinkler in the ceiling. It turns out that when the splinter go off it triggered the fire alarm. Fire alarm. You see them, they're in trouble. Holy crap. Holy shit. So we spend the next So we spend the next two hours outside in the in the freezing cold along with everyone else who was staring at, who was staying at the hotel while the fire department reset the 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 alarm in the morning mom was pretty annoyed with what does but she seemed focused on the day ahead during breath um
during breakfast, mom said we were heading heading into the four, the final four, and that we'd all need to play as a team to pull out a win today. That's my read on Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Book 16, Big Shots, released in 2021. So yeah, we'll find out what happened to Gray in the next few more chapters that we've done this book, which is great. So my favorite part in the book, probably um, his mom telling him to do some sports, like do, they did in Olympics, Special Olympics, like soccer, basketball, tennis, swimming, and... Dodgeball as well accounts 